guys welcome back to the Kevin Frizzard channel I am obviously that guy so uh, in this video this is gonna be I got a uh, early birthday gift I happen to find this uh, at the perfect time nice and early I've been looking for this shit for like over a year and I uh, finally came across uh, you know my life again when I was sitting down taking a dump and uh, happened to check reverb hit the refresh button on the BC Rich shit and there it is so let's open this up and um, I'll kind of explain it obviously as we go along nice and easy my favorite freaking love this shit it's like original BC rich hard shell case too to go with this it's a massive case for this thing and there's a reason why get out of there this is my number one all-time favorite stabby pointy kind of guitar right here and now I got another one you know, I'm happy as shit so next Saturday is my 38th birthday so I got me a little gift oh yeah oh yeah and then I got multiple cameras going on here what's up what's up what's up so uh, let's see how this all plays out all right here we go one, two, three. Oh, fuck, dude. Holy crap shit. Oh, my. What the fuck happened here? Oh, that looks like stain or something. Uh, we'll look at that in a minute there. Thing had a little bit of cosmetic issues that I already knew in the picture. Basically, what happened was I got so damn excited, and it's a very good condition. BC Rich bass neck through, beast, and I uh, got excited, pulled the trigger. The price was amazing, especially considering it came with the case. But yeah, dude. Uh, fuck, man. This thing is a monster of a freaking guitar, and I. Fucking love it. Oh, yeah. Dude, I love this shape. I really do. I can't get enough of this shape. This is just by far the coolest shape ever. That's just my taste buds, you know. Okay, let me back this chair up because this thing will just start bumping into shit. You gotta be careful with these suckers. I swear, man, the fretwork on these is just... All my BC Riches have really good fretwork. I don't know about other people out there, but all the ones I've had and currently continue to get, I got no complaints at all. Let me grab a uh, camera do I want to grab here. Grab that one. Evil, evil, evil shit right there, my man. That's probably going to look stupid. Let's go this way. We'll fix that. Gotta keep it landscape. Right up to a full beast headstock. I mean, some of these I think have that son of beast headstock. This shit looks stupid. I hate that headstock. Now that I know all about this guy. Because I dork out a lot with, when it comes to this kind of shit. I just love it. I just love it so much. This one's got the ebony fingerboard on it. These frets are just super, super nicely done. Yeah, this I got to kind of look at right here. I'll have to examine that a little bit more. Yeah, there's one of the ding-dongs right there. Nothing a little bit of black sharpie can't handle, can't fix. This shit don't have to be perfect. And with these kinds of guitars, I get it. They get banged up. Sometimes it gets so banged up, I don't even know what the hell people were thinking. Like, did they throw the goddamn thing down the stairs, or what the fuck did they do? But there's nothing like that going on with this guy. It's got a little bit of bumps on it, but it's nothing that I'm pissed about or anything. And there was some, uh, some swirls around here somewhere. I just can't remember where. I'll be up here. Uh, good buff job will take care of it. There is that right there. No biggie. 
no biggie. These things are just so goddamn hard to come by. Let me shut this off. Yeah, these suckers, I mean, you'll come across the bolt-ons from time to time. And I almost got one, maybe it was a month and a half ago, but it had already sold. I saw it on offer up and uh, somebody had snagged it already. But this was ultimately what I was looking for. I just love my neck through ones. I mean, nothing super against bolt-ons, but it was just uh, when I got introduced when I was younger, yada, 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 you guys know that story. I just, I like the feel of uh, solid pieces, all one piece, neck through construction. Yeah, here's all the swirling right here. I can buff that out, that's no big deal. But the main, the main ingredient I have, God, it's so comfortable, but on here it might be a little bit harder to do, but it's something I'll get used to. Main, main thing is I got my favorite shape in the base form now. I'm like really freaking happy, stoked about that. Yeah, man. I haven't tried these pickups yet either. This is just the stock uh, BC Rich P style pickups. Um, my zombie base neck through that I have in there, uh, and that case right down there on the floor that you guys can't see, it does have the uh, X Series P uh, style pickups. And uh, out of all the, all the recordings that I've done so far, that that bass tone has it's like my favorite bass tone. It just sounds the best has the best character, the best growl to it. I don't know how these are going to be. This does have, I think, an active system in it. Um, but yeah, I'll be checking all this stuff out with you guys as we go. And right now, yeah, I just wanted to unbox this real quick with you guys. Early birthday gift. The weather is beautiful out here right now. I'm going to go fish a couple ponds locally. There's some uh, apparently good bass fishing uh, about 20 minutes away from me, so I want to get on that before it gets dark. And then uh, we will revisit this guy and all the kind of fun stuff that goes along with this shit in another video. But that is... I can't stop looking at this thing. This shit is so cool. Actually, before I go, I want to bring in my Beast uh, guitar and see how it measures up as far as like dimensions. I just love to dork on this shit. Hang on a second. All right, I'm going to keep that camera hooked up just where it's at because that's got the shotgun mic pointing at me so the audio just comes out better than all this other shit. We're going to roll with this camera for the uh, main visuals. Okay, it looks to me like the cut on the bass is just a little bit different. Let me stand them up real quick. Very, very close, but that's about equal actually now that I'm looking at it. Just a touch off, just a touch different. But it's pretty I thought the base was just gonna blow it away in size, but I guess it doesn't. I just love nerding out when it comes to this shit. It's fun. It's cool. Freaking love the shit out of that guitar, except for that ugly ass headstock right there. It's that one. That's the shape. That's the cut right there. This is just weird. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, I think I'm done now when it comes to all this shit. I want to go fishing. I want to catch some largemouth top water baits. So I'm looking forward to that, and I'm looking forward to sharing how this thing sounds. We'll plug it in through uh, my orange. Uh, I got that Orange Crush 50 water over there. We'll plug into that. Plug into the computer through the dark glass, and we'll just riff out with this thing too. I'll probably, I gotta think, it's set up right now in standard tuning. It's got a full setup already done. It came from a uh, music shop. It only was online for uh, after I purchased it, it was on there for 32 minutes, so I'm, I'm surprised it even lasted that long with uh, just how badly everybody, you know, wants this kind of shit that BC Rich is just not building right now. But um, that's for another discussion. But yeah, man, um, like I said, we'll, uh, we'll demo this shit and get into all kinds of fun, good stuff when it comes to uh, yeah, playing through this and seeing how it sounds and all that kind of shit. But uh, as always, I appreciate you guys so much for coming to the channel and supporting and all the shit. By the way, if you guys don't know yet, as you're continuing to come into my channel uh, and check this stuff out, I got my music is finally available through, uh, I, I went ahead and uh, I created a distro kit so it's able to distribute the music that I'm currently doing uh, 
past, present, and then future what I'm working on right now. Because I've been doing behind the scenes. When I'm not doing the video stuff, uh, I'm doing a shit ton of recording, getting my music out there for you guys. I know a lot of you guys have been begging for it. And uh, I finally picked a uh, service that is uh, taking care of all that and getting it into your guys' uh, eyes and ears. So, yeah, just continue to keep coming back. And anytime I have an update when it comes to my music, the creation of it and everything, I'll keep sharing that with you guys and let you know when new stuff is available. So right now i got about 10 or 11 songs um, that are that are done and available for you guys to stream on whatever platforms you guys uh, use. So be sure to check all that out. All you got to do is just uh, put, you know, search my name on any of those platforms you guys are using and I should come up and uh, you'll be able to stream it. So appreciate the support. I'll leave you guys with the metal horns. You guys be safe out there. Take care. Love the shit out of you guys. You guys are awesome. Yeah.